So here we are, the day after the great hoax, Fukushima Reactor 4. I guess everyone has seen this before. I spent the night just searching frantically for evidence of this actually happening. Um, couldn't find anything. Eventually went to the webcams. I didn't see anything unusual going on there. And then I saw some other web pages talking about this. The Deccan Herald. And I'm like, what is this? And it's dated, you know, the 23rd. Uh, kept searching, kept searching. Found a, um, a Reuters article. This one here, dated March 12th, 2011. And it's word for word the same. And I'm like, what is going on here? This is bullshit. But I was kind of frantic, you know, because I didn't understand what was going on. And then this morning, I received an email from Before It's News, you know, still, you know, spreading the bullshit. I'm like, well, and, and, I, and I started to think, it's like, well, what's the difference, whether it was a hoax or not? It's eventually going to happen. And think about, even if it doesn't happen, I mean, what are the efforts to contain Fukushima today? The answer is none. I mean, how can we contain it? A human being will die in about seven minutes, regardless of what protection he's wearing inside those buildings. Robots made of metal and steel fail to function after about two hours. There, there's no time. There's no way of stopping this. You know, and it's going to go on like this for at least ten years. That Ten years if they were actively trying to do something. These, these radioactive particles, I'm not sure if everyone understands this, but they get more lethal during the first 30 years as one radioactive metal changes to plutonium-239, which is the more lethal bomb-making isotope grown in reactors. And TEPCO basically will run out of workers and robots long before then. So, are the Japanese or anyone else really doing anything? No. It's all a fake fire drill. And it's, and it's all a dog and pony show. And that's what it is. They're just drifting around like zombies, there's nothing to do. There's nothing they can do. You know, these, these radioactive particles, they have to stop coming out of the ground beneath those reactors in Japan before those radioactive particles will stop coming down all over the Earth. I mean, we're breathing and we're eating these deadly isotopes in our food and water right now. And these, these lethal Isotope particles are so small that they, they go right through our clothes and skin. Right out of the air. Just one milligram of uranium, that's, that's pretty damn small. You can, I don't even know if you can see that. But think about it. It punches out about 850 particles a minute. <clears throat> that's going to kill you. I mean, so they're like radioactive bullets. And, they, and they, they're being shot out really, really quick. And if you want an idea of what 850 times a minute is, check this out. Radioactive isotopes are the perfect killing machine. We're being struck with 850 rounds of these a minute per milligram throughout our lives. I 
I mean, we can't dodge the radioactive particles. You know, we're, we're pretty much left in the dark here. So, whether last night's thing was a hoax or not, it's going to happen. It's going to be real someday. But think about what's really happening today. Think about how they covered this up. They did nothing because they can't do anything. We are truly screwed.